Welcome to GMAT 41, your channel of excellence. In this short lecture video, I've got this funny yet tricky, right? <laughs> kind of question that I'd like us to look at together. This question is actually extracted from Unizik Chem 102 workbook. Yeah, organic chemistry, okay? Workbook, chapter two, question number three of it. So we've got this question. A substance has a molecular formula of C8H10N4O2. The empirical formula is, like I said, this is a funny, a technical, could be a tricky question, right? Uh, it's very simple answering this. Without even doing any work, you see, what you just have to do here to get the empirical formula is to factorize the highest common factor, yes, of these atomicities. So if you factorize two from this atomicity, whatever you're going to have left with these atoms becomes the empirical formula. Now, the, what I really want to show you here is why that idea or that analysis is the correct thing to do to this question. The reason is simple. We want to understand the relationship between empirical formula and molecular formula. And I'm going to tell you, okay, the molecular formula of a compound is obtained from multiplying the empirical formula by a certain common atomicity. I might communicate it. I'm going to show you on the board. Just look at it. This is the relationship, right? So we are saying that for you to get a molecular formula of any compound, it is the empirical formula times a certain atomicity. Now, what do we have as a molecular formula? That is CHH10N4O2. So what is it going to be? We're going to do some factorization from here, right? We'll do some factorization to help us get our N here, which will now have to be multiplied by the empirical formula in order to get the molecular formula. This N, how do we obtain it from this molecular formula? I've already explained that factorize the highest common term from this atomicity, which of course is two. So this is going to now give us, if you pull out two from here, you are going to get with this N being equal to two. So this term you are seeing here is your empirical formula, N form. Is that okay? So we just conclude therefore that the empirical formula, C4H5, N2O, this of course becomes the empirical formula of this molecular formula given there. I hope you've learned something cool from this short lecture video. Then remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell, select all, so that you can follow up with my update whenever I drop one.